The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. A perfect shot just happens in a flash. He returns with some of the materials we need. Kid packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the Calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Send some squirts crying home when she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. A security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. They try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. tries harder. Try as she might though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. She 
picked a good spot for a break. Cause the core is right there. their own eyes on the core. But why? Well, kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. He finds a weeping Nelly rearing the gold. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. She's gonna need a little help with all them peggers. Traffic things think they're king of the roost now. Rest of us only wish we'd fly in times like these. to remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it?
Bet the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? the one.
no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. Darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it, her father's own journal. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book, I'd have worked to translate it right away. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. The marshals learned to pack those shells full of fire. Finders keepers. Kid surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Here, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. If you're feeling low, count on the buttery flavor of our own bastion bourbon. We track the final core beyond the city to the wilds. Ever felt a soul wood gourd? Like picking up broken glass barehanded. 
As Zolwood Grove, marshals learn to make every shot count. The trick was to pop all those nasty gourds without wasting ammo. Had to catch a bunch of those gourds in a single shot. Funny thing about muskets is they work best up close. Took a keen eye, not an itchy trigger finger. Kid takes a little personal time for just him and his favorite musket. to go around, even now. Marshals like to fine-tune their muskets to get better results. The orchard grew over so quick, the marshals made it worth clearing out. Marshals did more than just stand around shooting, of course. The city's unwanted things all met their end in the yard. Folks have fouled up will do their time here, smashing things to bits. The quicker they worked, the sooner they could go. Folks learn to plant their feet and put their backs into it. Others would plot a course to navigate that sea of junk. Had to work real fast for the finest prize. Kid pays another visit to the scrapyard for old time's sake. Work too slow. 
slow and all you got was a sore back. Some folks invested their earnings to forge even better hammers. A good day smashing to feed a family for a week. Ever want to just smash things for a while, you know where to go. <laughs> the wild unknown. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. You know what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? F2. Savage things lurking at every turn. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. Checkers got the core, like they're building a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. Shouldn't have let the guard down. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Wallflowers survived the calamity. It toughened him up. made it out this far. Kids seen the last of them.
kiss faster than a slinger with those guns. Don't ever turn your back on a pin cushion. He's a smooth black stone, coughed up by the calamity. Be seeing plenty more. The wilds already reclaimed this place. He's anxious to get back. After all, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no. It ain't. Not by a long shot. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says, but I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. <laughs> Zolf cursed the city, cursed the bastion. Cursed me. Said he was going home. When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. It takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. <laughs> Want to stay alive in the wilds, pack a pair of pistols and a good blade. A 
Toby. The gods never liked competing for people's affections. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put her back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the Bastion back to health. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. You have to think fast to survive the wilds, and none of them faster than the slingers. They could shoot their pistols with the speed of a machine. The slingers could plug you full of holes faster than you could say draw. Slingers like to edge each other out using customized pistols. Eventually, it all comes down to reflexes. Slingers were much quicker than the average pistolier. Just cause you're fast don't mean you gotta be reckless. get faster. Well, even the slingers weren't quick enough to escape the calamity. After Zolf's little episode, Kid sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jaws and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. 
Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. Don't know where he's gone. Might be gone for good for all I know. Kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds beggars, lunkheads, wallflowers, pin cushions, vine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators. <laughs>
send them even farther into the wild unknown. Kid sets foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. He has the nerve to flash the shield he stole. He's a petty thief. The security is just an empty street. Up. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Piff, the bull. Gods, but they're all undone. He sees what's left of his lifelong friend. Lost him, but he finally comes to. The shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Bootlickers dig their nasty thorns into his heels. Disgusting things. Ever heard of a lung blossom? It's bigger than the stories say.
breath on that thing, like a scumbag sprung a leak. They say one whiff of lung blossom can make you lose your mind. Well, the kid prunes it down to size somehow. A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Ain't saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. He's made a right comfortable bed for all those bullets. So zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wilds. So much for that plan. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Russia's knew their way around the lagoon. These beasts, they don't like company.
Even the brushers learn to fear this place. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle gators love shiny things. Know what smells worse than an ankle gator's breath? The stinkweed. Ain't time for pecker hunting, but the kid can't resist. Can't fight Queen Anne without the proper tools. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. They say you can't hurt an ankle gator unless it's raining. And it ain't raining. Bad idea to walk in gator grass. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator scraps. Queenie leads the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and it's Queen Anne's lunch. He holds his ground. Seems the Queen's running out of options. Fit down some of these narrow paths. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kids gotta make a run for it. Those leaping lunkheads don't like Queen Anne any better than the kid. That old gator's right on his tail.
must have scared a bunch of peckers out of hiding. She's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. The shard's sitting in plain view. He's got it, and now to finish her off. It's done what needed to be done. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. That gator's a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after her. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. The arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. He's a spitting image of Slinger Jawson with that bike and them pistols. They said Queen Anne was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't.
wasn't fixed, it was unbroken. To fix a brusher's pike, you just need a good length of knife bark. Now he can shoot that fang repeater all day long. Shard should be farther out there in the wild. To prepare for the wilds, Ceylonia's brushers practice at Camp Dunsey. Had to navigate a maze of pincushions with nothing but a pike. It's a dangerous test for a dangerous job. said he couldn't use any fancy footwork, just your brains and your pike. The brushers were Ceylonia's field agents and their training was harsh. You had to find a path through the maze as quick as you could. One well-placed throw could take out several of those ugly critters.
did all right at camp, don't he? You got to go to the wilds. You can see why the brushers prize those pikes of theirs. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world? Two words. Point Lemaine. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. This outpost past the city line is nothing but a freak show. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Kid might as well pick up where they left off. Blam! Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. Point Lemaine seemed better days for sure, but it ain't done. Shutters in a fit. The Grand Rail of Point Lemain. Not only is it still there, it still works. Of course, it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but he can give the kid a lift. Just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. so much as one of those things slip by. Lunkheads settled in like they own the place. Fancy footwork on the rail, but with wallflowers coughing fungus everywhere.
place used to be closed off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. Of course, the Grand Rails seen much more fighting in bygone times. Near on 50 years ago, first shots fired in the Ura Ceylami War. It was right here that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign-off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. The rail must have shook the Ura to the bone down in those dens of theirs. Well, the rail won't last much longer now that the kid took the shard. It's still got one good run in store for him. All the rotten wood there on the rails turned it into swamp weed central. Ever tried dancing side to side while holding your breath? While choking on swamp weed? While peckers trying to prick you in the eye? Well, let me tell you, it ain't fun. First, he thinks it's Zolf. Turns out he's wrong. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. When the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zulf.
It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. and found under the circumstances. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived, and what exactly Zolf told him. The shards are getting harder to find. 